Welcome to the family! Hey guys, you have McGann, and I have a part of the ColourPop Sailor Moon collaboration collection. I got very lucky to get what I even got because my internet went down after the water people dug up our internet and cable line, so I could not get anything added to my cart fast enough. This stuff all sold out within like 15 minutes on their website, but my friend Danny Quinn, she totally hooked me up and when she found out I could not check out for myself, she ran back through the checkout and grabbed me everything she could. And I'm really excited because it's the 90s version of Sailor Moon, which is the one I grew up with and it's just got a real special place in my heart. I love it. Okay, I think palette is the first way to go. This is a good way to go. The packaging is just awesome. Colourpop.com. That's Colourpop with a U. Sailor Moon. I love how that image just sort of bleeds over on the sides. A lot of places would not bother with it. Here are our colors. Shining Moon, Twilight Flash, Silver Crystal, Moon Castle, Full Moon, Silver Millennium, Mare Serenitatis? Mari Serenitatis? Maybe Luna, Justice, Tuxedo Rose, Love, and Miracle Romance. And this is, I have peeked at this palette already. So it's got a really cool cover. I'm excited. And we've got the colors listed again. And look at all that holo on the back. I love it. And now look at the front. This is how I feel on the inside. It is lenticular, but okay, there she goes. There her mouth is closing. It's a little hard to get her mouth to shut, at least with this camera. But I have never seen another makeup collection where they did a lenticulated, lenticular, lenticulated uh, cover of the palette like this. So that's really cute. And now, again, no mirror. Colourpop doesn't like putting in mirrors, but I mean, the moons are pretty, but still, I, I mean, a girl needs a mirror. And here are our colors. I love Tuxedo Rose down at the bottom. All right, let's try a couple swatchy swatches. I might do one. I might do them all. It will be a surprise to all of us. Um, Yeah, better start light to dark. Ooh, oh my gosh, it is so soft like so freaking soft. The only thing I will say, a, a little criticism here, why is there no blue? That's such a big part of her uniform. I would have expected. Oh, look at that shiny shimmer. Oh my gosh, I love that one. Silver crystal. Oh my gosh, that comes off so pretty. Let's try out Moon Castle. We're starting to get a little more dark. Full moon. Oh, Full Moon comes off nice too, but oh my gosh, that Silver Crystal. Love that. Uh, silver Millennium. Let me get a clean finger here. Oh. Oh. Okay, that one's very similar in color to the Silver Crystal, but it seems like Silver Millennium is a little bit more glittery. Glittery, I can't speak. Wipe off my hand a little bit, maybe. Um, Now we are in that one I can't say. The Mare Mare or something. Mm. This one's like super glitter, so it's kind of hard to use it. it uh, it's not my favorite. Let's try Luna. Luna's very light. I mean, she's shimmery. Very pretty shimmer, but it shows up very, very light. Justice in the name of the man. Oh, Tuxedo Rose. I'm going to have the prettiest hand at the fair. Oh, I was going to stop, but we're only two left till the end, so let's finish this. Miracle Romance. Okay, now here is my Razzle Dazzle Sparkle hand. Um, yeah, definitely some of these are like shimmery top coaty types of eyeshadow, and some of these you can see by themselves. <laughs> oh my gosh, ColourPop makeup is so soft. If you have never tried it, I encourage you to get any of their stuff. It is so ridiculously soft. Okay, now let's try Moonlight Legend which has also got such a pretty packaging, glitterly obsessed. Moonlight Legend. Oh, I love that little icon there. Okay. Ooh, we have our, ooh, look at all that holo! Holo, holo, glitterly obsessed. Now I have another version of this with the Frozen 2 makeup. So I've got a pretty decent idea of how to work it. Ooh, 
you put this like over your eyeshadow and see all that crazy amount of glitter that just came off. Yeah, pay no attention to my cheap, bad uh, fingernail polish job. My daughter really wanted me to be 4th of July themed. But yeah, that is some major chunky, like a jelly kind of glitter. So it goes on really nice and easy. The only thing I will say that I don't love about this is I wish it had some like more themed glitter bits, like moons or maybe little cat heads or something. Like just a little bit more Sailor Moon feel. Okay, now here is Ultra Glossy Lip and Ultra Blotted Lip. Oh my, I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, I assume this is gonna be a lip gloss and these are gonna be lipsticks. Colors Bunhead, Usagi, Moon Tiara and Sailor Moon. And it's really cute if you look at the packaging because how I had it before was flipped on the side because that image just keeps going. I adore this. ColourPop does a really good job with their Disney makeup too, so I'm always very pleasantly impressed with them. Okay, so we have kind of a dark pink. Uh, where to put it? Yeah, haha. Let's say here. Oh, I didn't even really look at the bottle packaging here. Check it out. I love how holographic it is. Yay! Oh, and that one is Bunhead. If I could hold it upright, that would be helpful. Bunhead, now let's try Usagi. And if you haven't seen this show since the 90s, that's what they call Serena in Japan and now in America. Us 90s kids didn't know that. Oh my, I hate ripping the box now! <laughs> Don't make me rip it! Ah! I oh don't know. I lost that battle. It's a very similar color. Let's see, maybe it's a little bit brighter. Actually, it might be a little bit darker even. So there's Usagi on the bottom and Bunhead on the top. I didn't mean to make it into a little lip shape, but I guess I kind of did. Oh yeah, let's check out this awesome box. So cute! This one is Moon Tiara and might be a lip gloss. We'll see. Still just says ultra glossy lip, so I'm not positive if that is ColourPop's terminology for a certain type of lipstick. Oh no, that's a different applicator. That's definitely going to be lip gloss. But we'll just do... Ooh, it's like an orange too. Like that's a very strange color. So yeah, I'm not really clear about some of the choices on their color palette here, but oh, that one is much nicer. Which one is this? Sailor Moon. But I mean, it's nice makeup and ColourPop really does very reasonable pricing. It's still very orange, but it's like a darker, more passable neutral orange. <laughs> like the top one is, hello, I just killed a mandarin orange, and the bottom one is like, well, it could be a pink or an orange. Who knows? It'll surprise us all. Well, let's see if I can just get it all out and displayed for one last shot. And I mean, price-wise, I think it was 80 or 89 to get the whole set, which had another one of the glitterly obsessed colors. And I think there's a few other things, but I can't quite remember. But what I do know is that I wrote Danielle a check for $60. So I mean, for what I got and how good quality it is, it's really a good deal. And I just wish ColourPop would come to my aid, send me PR. <laughs> How am I not somebody that qualifies for this kind of geeky makeup? Ugh! And here it's kind of dry. I know lip gloss never fully seems to dry. But the colors Bunhead and Usagi at the top here have dried out a good bit. And yes, the Usagi, the bottom color is definitely a little bit darker. The two oranges are just going to be sticky on my hand forever. Here's one last display of how all the eyeshadows looked on me. And again, I wasn't really trying to take out huge amounts of pigment. I just sort of rubbed the top a little bit, did a little swatch. So it's still pretty subtle makeup, even though some of the colors are pretty wild. And it will stack pretty well. And then, of course, we have the glitterly obsessed on my thumb, which I am totally obsessed with. Anyways, guys, you've been listening to McGann ramble on like a crazy person, and I will be so enthused to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you'll know when that is. See you next time, family members. Bye!